But I don't want to rush to anything because right now it's an honor. It's a privilege. Check it in with ESPN Cleveland and Munchon Sports. None other. From Notre Dame College, wrestler Joey Davis. Joey, thanks for taking time tonight, buddy. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing, sir? I am superb, my friend. And you know what, man? I, I, I didn't put you on to embarrass you. I put you on to praise you, man, and talk about great accomplishments. But I know it's not an embarrassment because I know how hard you had to work to accomplish what you've accomplished. And I want to let people know this, that not only last weekend did you win your fourth NCAA Division II Wrestling Championship, Joey, you finished your collegiate wrestling career undefeated. Both of those events are uh, unprecedented. Congratulations, young man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Joey, when you got into wrestling, number one, you know, your goal is to win championships down the line. And people win championships at times throughout the year by losing a match or two. But once you got going, was it just simply focus on the match that night, who you're wrestling that night? And once that's over, then you move on to the next one? No, sir. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I'm a type of man that, or type of person that want to perform well every match. You know, I want to put I want to put as much points as I can on the board. You know, I want to dominate in all areas. You know, I want to let my opponent know that he didn't have a chance against me. You know, uh, it was a lot of matches I won this year that I didn't like the way I won. You know, I was frustrated the way I performed or or things like that. And I just thought that if I could perform well and and if I can escape or if I can ride a person a minute and get the extra point, mm-hmm. you know, I, if I can take them down as many times as I can without getting tired. Then uh, I was satisfied with the win, and then if I could, and I, you know, it just came along when I kept doing it and, and, and consistently, and, and I, the record just came along with it. So, you know, uh, yeah, I get nervous with the opponents and things like that too, but it was more of a thing just performing well, sir. Joey Davis, check it out. Joey, where did you wrestle in high school? Uh, I wrestled for Santa Fe High School in uh, Santa Fe Springs. It's in LA, from LA, close to LA. How the heck did you end up here at Notre Dame College? I think that's a great story. Uh, uh, hello, uh, my coach Anthony Ralph, man, he's a great man. Uh, he taught me some. He he, he taught me a lot in, in my career being Notre Dame. He he, uh, he 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 was a man of his word of me being comfortable here and uh, you know get some getting the get with a family out here pretty much and uh and and, and that was just been a good part for me. You know, it might not work out for everybody else, mm-hmm. but it worked out for me. But uh, it worked out well for me and um. I'm happy and I'm satisfied with the way things are going and um, things are going well. Joey, got to ask you this, man. When your time is up in school and you've finished and uh, you, know, you get your degree, you get your diploma, you going to hang around with us here, bro, or are you heading back west? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to go back west mm-hmm. for a little bit. Who knows? But, you know, uh, I like to train back at home, especially to stand with my Uncle Tom, who's been coaching me for a long time and, I like to spend time with my family and my mom and my little sister to let them know I'm still there and stuff like that. So I'll probably go back home, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. and, and just think some things through. Well, you know, family's important. We're talking to Joey Davis, fourth NCAA Division II wrestling championship this past weekend, undefeated in his college career. Joey, when did the wrestling bug hit you, man? Excuse me? When did that wrestling bug bite you saying, this is the sport I want to do, this is the sport I want to play, when did you know it was for you? Uh, <laughs> I, I realized it about the click of my junior in high school. You know, really? Uh, that late? Yeah, that late, yeah, because, you know, to be honest with you, sir, I, I didn't wrestle four times until I got to college. You know, I, I never did a lot of summer wrestling. Wow. I might have practiced once or twice a mm-hmm. week, you know, not even in high school. I was in football camps and doing things for football, you know, and then when I was younger, I was playing football for Snoop Dogg and, you know, going to traveling teams and things like that for football, so I didn't really have much time to wrestle, so I, I got to college, but, you know, uh, I realized it when, when you know, it was just something I loved to do. Uh, you know, football was something I liked to play, and I loved it, but it was just not something I loved like wrestling, you know, and um, I felt like I had the better edge of becoming something much more in life with, with the sport of wrestling, you know, I feel like it's something that's hard to explain. Every wrestler knows how I feel, and more mostly a lot of wrestlers know. And uh, a lot of people play football, yes, where the money is and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm more satisfied with much calling myself a, a historian in the sport now, and 
I'm happy and satisfied. I did it undefeated. And, uh, but yeah, I still think about playing football too a lot. You know, I can play football next year if I want to. You know, I'm still young and the skies is the limit. So, uh, but yeah, uh, wrestling, I, I, I'd probably say it didn't click in my junior year, to be honest with you. I'm not saying that I never loved wrestling or mm-hmm. nothing like that. I always loved it. But, uh, it was something I didn't know what I was going to, if I was going to do for the long run or if I was going to even do in college. So, yeah. Joey, got to ask you this. You're going to take a little bit of a left turn. How's my boy Calvin, a.k.a. Snoop Dogg? How's he as a football coach? Pretty good? Uh, I haven't seen, uh, I'll call him Coach Snoop. I haven't seen Coach Snoop in about three years. Oh, wow, still, okay. Yeah, he still keeps in contact with me throughout other people if he wants to know about some things like that. But uh, when I was playing for him, you know, I, I learned a lot from him. Like I said in my last interviews, and as people ask, I learned a lot from him. Man. He's a good man. You know, he he gives he gives back to the kids. He only wants what's, what's best for the kids. And he got a, you know, I got the chance and the opportunity to see how he lives and been to his house and got a chance to know how his kids is and, and things like that, how he raised his kids and how he respects his woman and, uh, or his wife, you know, Shantae mm-hmm. and things like that. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot from the man and, and he's just a good guy. And, uh, you know, I, I will see him in the long run, I'm sure. And eventually when I get back home now, I'm done wrestling and stuff. But, uh, yeah, he's a great coach, great coach, great guy. Joe, you just said something that means a lot to me. Uh, was brought up this way from my dad, is that respect women, okay? Uh, you know, raise your kids the right way. And uh, that means so much. Uh, just from hearing you talk, I know that uh, you're going to do all of the above and you're going to be one heck of a father at one time. What does the future hold for you with wrestling, Joey Davis? Uh uh, it's something that you know I've been, you know I've been pressured and been asked about for these past, mm-hmm. you know, since this, this past week since I won the title. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm just gonna uh, focus on school and, and 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 try to get this degree as fast as I can, and you know, enjoy myself and have some fun and, um, and really think about what I'm gonna do in my life. What's you know, the degree uh, in, Joe? I'm a communication major. Well, heck, let's get you down here to the station some night and join me for the show, man. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Can we do that? Hopefully. In fact, you know, uh-huh. I, I know how to find you, man. We'll get you down for the show, and then we'll call uh-huh. Snoop, and we'll get Snoop on the phone. What do you think? That sounds great to me, man. I'd love to be on it. Well, I'd, I'd be great. honored to have you, man. I don't want to intrude your studies, but, you know, I'm going to hook up with you the next day or two, and we'll get that done. Joey Davis, Notre Dame College, four NCAA Division II Wrestling Championships. Pretty much that's all you could win because that's freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and undefeated <laughs> along the way. Joey, you had a big target on your back, man, especially this last year, oh, didn't man. you? Oh, man, I, I was dealing with – Man, emotions that I never felt in my life, but I just kept saying to myself, God put me here for a reason, I guess. You know, it was an opportunity that I had to, I had a chance to do, but it was a feeling that I ain't never felt before. Just, you know, you know, I was, you know, what was good about it was to be honest that it kept me hungry, like winning my first one. You know, winning the mm-hmm. second and third one was like, ooh, if I can do this, I can do it. And I won a third one, I was just like satisfied. But winning my first was like, oh, I, it was something that I really wanted to do. And, and it was just like winning that fourth to make history. So that was the great part about it. But just knowing how many people who who wanted to beat me and how many how people will wrestle me mm-hmm. so so particular, it was a crazy it was a crazy experience that I overcame and I and I feel like since I overcame something like that, I feel like anything I put my mind to now is gonna make me to that much stronger mentally. Well Joey, so very very, very proud of you, man. I'm gonna hook up with you, we'll get you down here sooner, right buddy? All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Joey, how do you like that, man? Joey Davis, come down when you can hook up with Snoop Dogg on the phone.